God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, October the 14th. Today's devotional, like yesterday, is based on Psalm 25, verses 1 to 9. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love. For they have been from old, of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble in his, in his way. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Samuel Adams. Prayer frequently involves both petition and praise, and in this specific case, the speaker offers his brokenness to God at the onset, in the hopes of being protected and reformed. This dynamic is apparent in verse 2. Oh my God, in you I trust, do not let me be put to shame. This line indicates the psalmist's absolute dependence on God and the need to be reformed and constantly taught. It also reflects the complex relationship between confidence and brokenness throughout the Psalter. An individual expresses complete trust in God's ability to make all things possible, including human redemption. But Psalm 25 and other Psalms, like it, also acknowledge the human tendency to make poor choices and the fear that this will lead to terrible consequences, such as isolation, defeat at the hands of one's enemies, and even death. And Adams leaves us with this to ponder today. Acknowledge a time when you have made a poor choice. For some of us, that could be a long list. What were the consequences? How would you respond differently now? Let us pray. May I learn the wisdom from my errors and allow your good to shine through my darker days. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. Until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and when you're in, ma in public, wear a mask. It's only good community. God bless.